Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be fun because it's a fun day today. We are going to do a gender reveal party for my second baby. But real quick before you finish watching this video, comment down below and guess or put down your predictions for the gender. Like, what's it going to be? What do you think? Before you skip to the end of the video to actually find out what it is. Because I know you're going to skip to the end of the video to find out. We all do that. The party is tomorrow. But today I'm just in the kitchen, I got my apron on, and I am busy in the kitchen and working as fast as I can while Summer is taking a nap. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna even do a gender reveal party again, cause I was like, I thought I would just probably help him for the first baby, you know? But then I was like, you know, every kid, every baby is worth celebrating. And we're just as excited for this baby, so why not throw another party? I know in the future I might not have as much time as I do now, for future children, but right now I do, and I, I enjoy I enjoy throwing together parties. So having some of my friends over tomorrow, Troy and I do not know the gender. I like going to parties where the parents don't know the gender either, because it's just more fun for everybody. So I'll tell you more about that later. But yeah, right now I am hustling, bustling, trying to get my food ready. Um, that way tomorrow is much more relaxing, and I can just set up, decorate, and have people come over and not be all stressing over the food and stuff. So, okay, so let me just show you what we're gonna do a little bit, first of all. As far as my party decorations, I am using stuff I have on hand, 100%. I did not buy anything new. Throughout the year at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx or wherever, if I see napkins on sale that are cute, I buy them. And th it's really coming in clutch this time. It's, there's like no blue and pink happening at this reveal. It doesn't really look like a baby party, to be honest. But I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna have a citrus party. I've had one of those before and kind of like a blue and yellow. Oh, I just said there's gonna be no blue there. Well, it's not gonna look like your traditional gender reveal party, but I'm like, I'm gonna save money, use what I have on hand. And actually it's working out great. So I have a citrus, kind of a citrus theme, um, napkins here and kind of mismatch. So it's, it's actually kind of a hodgepodge of things, but I figured, who cares? I hope, I hope I can still make it look nice. And these plates I had from Summer's birth, first birthday party, and I just washed them. I was the cheapskate, and I'm like, I'm just gonna wash these. They're, they're, they're like really nice um, disposables. And so I washed them, and I'm gonna use them again for this party. And then a couple banners. Um, I'm doing like citrus is my like my lemon lemon like you know the whole like little cutie um citrus theme for like little cutie baby citrus theme that's kind of what i'm going for slash lemonade stand yeah anyway you'll see more of that tomorrow so yeah i'm just using what i have on hand trying to save money where i can with that and as far as the food i'll show you the good stuff first um i am right now in the middle of making um a lemon dessert and i made up this homemade shortbread crust my mother-in-law made this recipe one time I thought it was so good, so I'm just gonna basically copy it. So it's a shortbread crust, and then it's lemon like pudding, like pie pudding, and then cream cheese, whipped topping type of situation on top. So I have this giant pile of pudding, and I'm just mixing it all together right now. For the main course, we're doing grilled chicken. I'm just doing like a bunch of my Belizean seasonings on the grilled chicken, and then Troy's gonna smoke it for a couple hours, and or sorry, I guess it's more like smoked chicken and then rice with like seasonings. And then I'm doing it like a poppy seed type of salad. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Some of the, it's almost more like an autumn salad actually. I got some of the some of the idea from the Flower and Grace cookbook, cookbook, but I'm adapting it. But it's basically like a lettuce mix and then I do caramelized pecans, pomegranates, apples, feta cheese. Does it have bacon? I can't remember. I'm throwing a bunch of things in there. Um, but then I make this homemade poppy seed dressing and then the caramelized pecans recipe I got from this book. And so it's a, it's a really good salad. It's it's so good like with, over Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it now because I just kind of, I don't know, I feel like I need a really nice salad. So rice chicken salad and then I'm doing green beans with like brown butter on top. And that's my main course. I am, I'm really not going all out as far as the food because cooking is not my, I much cooking is, oh, I don't know. I, I just stick to things that I'm familiar with and then I like to throw my time more into the decorating and just the atmosphere of the place. But I still hope the food turns out good because who wants to go to a party and the food's gross? So anyway, wish me luck. Decorating is my favorite part. I decided to use yeah. citrus. I think I said that earlier in the video, but I decided to use citrus because I can, I can like eat it later. So it's like the cheapest form of decoration. Got some greens and these Izzy drinks are kind of a healthier um, drink. Not, not like a lot of sugar in them or anything. And yeah, string up some lights. 
and that's about it. And then over here, I have a lemonade stand. So people are about to arrive soon, and so do you have any predictions for the gender? I think it might be a boy. I think so too, but I thought so too with summer. I kind of hope it is. I um, anyway, I don't. I'm fine with having a boy now. I'm. I would be very excited to have a little boy. But a couple weeks ago it was not that way. Like every time he'd be like, "I think it's gonna be a boy," I'm like, "No, I'm a girl mom." I I, I don't know. I've always wanted to have a little pile of little women, um, but now I would be excited. I'm at the point where I actually would be disappointed if I don't have a boy. And disappointed, of course, too, but I'm a little girl. So excited. Disappointed either <laughs> excited way. Excited either, either way. way. Disappointed a little bit either way. <laughs> and excited either way, you know? Because I have a little girl now, but there's something about, like, sisters that's neat. But then I love the idea of having a little boy, too. And you, every, every family needs a boy. Yeah. Or two. But, you know, like, I, I, guess, I guess I grew up with three sisters in a row. So I kind of want, like, the whole sisterhood thing. But I guess it doesn't have to be in a row. Like, you can have... Have a little girl later. Yeah. And I keep telling myself, like, I hope I have more children. And so I'll have another girl later on. Like, I just had so much fun with Summer. I was like, I love being a girl mom. And so I don't know that. But I, I'll get the chance later on, Lord willing. So what we're going to do for the gender reveal, it's kind of fun. It was actually Troy's idea. My mother-in-law made um, cake pops. And she's going to pass them around. Only one is going to have the color in it. So she's going to pass them out. And so we're going to, like, take turns eating it or taking a bite. And then we'll see which one has blue or pink. Is she going to know which one it is? Does she know which one it is? Oh, like when she passes it out? Because what if it's the first person? Read this well, then it just happens that way. But no, I think she'll just probably pass it out. And she's probably, she probably has a little um, leaf or something different on one. I'm, I'm curious to see what they look like. I think they're going to look like lemons. Um, but I'm curious to see. Um, yeah, what it is. I'm, I'm getting really excited. We're down to the hour. People are going to start arriving here any minute. And I still got stuff to do. So, anyways. Very busy. But yeah, that's how we're going to do it. And then I think at the same time, we're going to pop off those, like, um, what do you call those things? Like those canister thingies. I can't, cannons. With the powder in um, it? Troy and I might pop one of those things off at the same time, like as soon as we find out. If we if we have the uh, frame of mind to do that. So, anyways, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be a boy, just my maternal instincts that weren't correct last time. And you have been a lot sicker. I have been, my pregnancy's been different, but I don't know if, I don't know if that actually I know. I think it's gonna makes a difference. Kate's voting for a girl. Sarah, what do you want? She wants a sister. She just wants candy. She just wants cake. <laughs> yeah, Kristen, start. Yeah, okay. Find me the very last one. Make sure you can see your screen. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Not the just a lemon. Go, Jim. Nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. 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 Nothing.
show it to me because I can't see. Sorry. We can have a brother. Your nose is still bad. You can have a brother. Oh, but you're all worried. You can be a big sister. <laughs> she looks. He doesn't look that impressed at this point. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We are excited. It's going to take me a little bit to get my mind wrapped around the fact that I'm having a boy, but we are excited. Every baby is a gift from God. And yeah, the only thing that cracked me up, as I thought about later, I completely forgot about it, is that the ultrasound tech, we had told her we don't want to find out, just write, write down the gender. But as she was doing the ultrasound, she was like, wow, I most definitely saw <laughs> what the gender was. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's probably what. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!